you know that this is a very strong storm. We were just showing you that very classic look with the counterclockwise winds and the rain bands, and we're getting one of those rain bands moving across Highlands, Hardy, DeSoto, uh, Manatee, and Sarasota County, even starting to kind of sneak some of that band into Polk County at this point. Again, it's all going to lift to the north over the next couple of hours. This is the first of many intense rain bands we will see and oftentimes embedded in these rain bands we often get the threat for tornadoes there's a tornado watch for highlands and hardy not would not be surprised to see that tornado threat that tornado watch get pushed to the north as well as hurricane ian itself moves to the north and you can see what an expansive storm this is we've got the clouds that go all the way up to the panhandle and still some of the clouds as far south as havana cuba are circulating around the center of circulations why we always tell you you can't just look at the center of circulation where that point is because there's a lot of activity and a lot of impacts extending far away from that center. 120 mile per hour winds making it a category three hurricane right now and is expected to be uh, gaining a little bit of strength to become a category four hurricane by this morning at around 8 a.m. And then sometime between 8 a.m. this morning and 8 p.m. this evening, that's the second icon here, it's going to make landfall. Thankfully, it's picking up some forward speed. Maybe not so great for the Fort Myers coastline because they have less time to prepare. But the quicker we can get this to push through our area, certainly the better. So as it moves northeast by this evening, we could start to feel hurricane force winds in some of our inland areas. So we're no longer talking about a hurricane force landfall along our coastline. We're talking about a hurricane. We know about this in Florida crossing the state and still bringing those hurricane force winds through Polk County as we head through tonight into tomorrow morning before this finally moves up to the north. And you can see that a lot of computer models are bending it south of I-4. And that's exactly now what the Hurricane Center is saying. But the Hurricane Center is also saying that this storm is going to increase in strength. And here's one of the reasons why. Look at that light color purple. It's 90 degree water that this system is moving into. And so we're going to look at that. We're also going to look at the fact we are tracking a hurricane hunter live as it leaves out of Texas. And we'll fly into this and we'll get a lot more details. So that will go into the next forecast. But I, I mentioned that you can't just look at a point on this. I mean, this, this is a massive storm. We're already seeing tropical storm force winds and gusts yeah. in our southern counties. And the center of the storm is still very much far offshore. Now, this is the yellow here. This is the tropical storm force wind field. So these are sustained winds above 39 miles per hour. And you can see this is right now. They're already spreading onto a lot of our area. And again, the center is still far offshore. We are expecting it to get close closer to the coastline as we go through the morning hours and that's when those hurricane force winds that extend out about uh, 75 miles there in diameter from the center. They're going to start to move on shore near the Fort Myers Charlotte Harbor area. As the storm continues inland, that wind field again pushing farther inland and those hurricane force winds are now being felt by early this afternoon in Sarasota, possibly even into Manatee County, Hardy and DeSoto and then continuing on into Highlands County and we could feel those hurricane force winds in southern Polk County, even into interior portions of Hillsborough County later on tonight. Again, hurricane force winds upwards of 74 miles per hour or greater. Now, again, the system will weaken as it continues to move inland, but we're still talking about those tropical storm force winds. You see this yellow, that's those 39 mile per hour or greater uh, wind field there. It's very large, and this is tomorrow afternoon at 12 o'clock. Then we'll continue to see those winds kind of decreasing throughout the evening hours on Thursday. Now, we've been talking a lot over the past week about storm surge. We thought we were going to have a quite a bit of storm surge, but that was only if the center of the storm moved ashore to the north of our bays. Now that it's coming ashore a little bit farther to the south, we're actually seeing the water being pulled out of the bay. It's the opposite effect of storm surge. The winds are now pushing the water out of Tampa Bay and out of Sarasota Bay right into Charlotte Harbor where they could feel uh, they could see significant storm surge where that center comes ashore. But Tampa Bay, again, those winds are pushing that water out of the bay. Now, as we go out in time and in through uh, Thursday evening, we could see uh, as the storm pulls away, these winds will switch direction and, and pull some water into the bay, but not nearly Lee, as much as we were expecting originally. It is really great news for a lot of people because uh, there's a lot of people who live around the Tampa Bay waters and if that were to have gotten that worst case scenario a lot of places would be underwater so we're very happy to see that slightly uh, southerly shift there 100% rain chance today 
Still about an 80% rain chance tomorrow before lunchtime. And then you can see it's much drier for Friday and the weekend, guys.